Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. I feel like I'm prepared for Halloween. I have my Halloween mascot. I have my Halloween candy. I have my brown candle here that, you know, I don't know, which I just feel like the color scheme matches Halloween a bit. It smells like pumpkin. Okay, no, it doesn't. It smells like caramel, but no, I guess caramel apples. I've never had a caramel apple, but I feel like that's something to do with Halloween. Caramel apple, maybe? Mm. Let's put that there so it doesn't shut up. I have this, my nightmare before Christmas, my night bear. I have my nightmare before Christmas snow globe. This is like my prized possession, okay? Now I would have it here. Oh, let me put my dress so it doesn't look like I'm naked. I would have it here, except I've already done that before and I did and it shattered. You wanna see? Yeah, this is what, this is what happens. I had it here, it shattered. Not on my carpet, because I do have carpet, but on my desk chair, the metal... <laughs> how do I how do I show this? I just dropped my phone directly on this. Like, are you actually kidding me? Do you see what I'm saying? Oh, and there's little shards of glass everywhere. So slay. No, it is not. I, I will clean that up. Don't worry. But do you see there, those metal rods? That is what happened. Oh, are you actually kidding me? That is precisely the point as to why I cannot be trusted with glassing. This is my prized possession. Yes, and I'll put it here out of harm's way and I'll put it back into its little cage, if you will, that I have it trapped in. It's really just another bookcase that I don't use for books. Yeah, do you see? Like, this is this is what will happen. I am also scared to leave this here because I feel like I might accidentally impale my eyes on one of the shards. Why do I still have this? That's a good question. I don't know. Because, um... I have attachment problems. Okay, so I have my fall, not fall, um, no, it's not fall, it's spring where I live. I have my Halloween TBR books where if, you know, I could extend Halloween, I would like to read all of these. I'm going to do a little quick inventory. There's like 30 something books. These are all books I'd like to get to in this Halloween season. So I have nine witch books, six vampire books, six autumnal Halloween books. Four haunted house books, two campy scary books, and five paranormal ghost type books for you today. So yeah, 32. I am going to go through each selection of books and I will have timestamps down below. So if you wanted to jump to a specific section, you definitely can. Now, keep in mind, I have not read any of these books. So if any of them are really bad, really heinous, I'm sorry. This is just some books which like I'm like, oh, I would like to read them. But aside from that, I think these are interesting. I also, you know, did look at a lot of reviews for majority of these books, trying to see like which ones would be best suited for the Halloween season. Okay, I think I've talked enough. I'm gonna start off with like the Halloween-y autumnal books. And I'm starting off with Halloween Party by Agatha Christie. Come on, it has Halloween in the title. So this book is about, also when I'm telling you what the books are about, I think I'll just give you some like general information about it. Maybe, you know, a few words signifying the vibe of the book. I won't be giving, you know, in-depth synopsis because I don't know. <laughs> and I feel like sometimes it's be better to go in books with like lesser information. It's like a movie trailer, you know? I don't watch movie trailers because they just give away too much. And it's like, well, we don't even have to watch the movie now because we've already seen the trailer, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, someone is found in an, one of those apple bobbing tubs. Ew, imagine all the germs. Why would anyone ever do that? Stick their head in dirty water and bob for apples. That is, I don't want to think about that. That is actually disgusting. I mean, no offense if you do it and you like doing it, but I'm just saying. The germs. Anyways, that is that. And I maybe think that more people are going to die. I also really like this cover. I like the cat. Do you like the cat? Okay. Next, we have Dark Harvest. Now, I really have gotten into buying used books as you can see um and this was one of those books which is just like it's set on halloween this book is like very campy honestly it's basically about october boy which is just someone who has a bloody butcher knife and he rises from the cornfields every halloween and basically it's about this dude and his friends and they're you know they're gonna try to like kill the october boy <laughs> okay <laughs> I got this book purely for the Halloween theme. That's literally the only reason why. I looked at the one-star reviews, and what a lot of people were saying that this book was not scary, it was just so silly, which I don't really mind because there were a few other Halloween books that I was looking at, and I went through the one-star reviews on all of these books, and it was just basically saying that the entire book was just filled with, like, really unnecessary graphic sexual assault. So I was like, oh, 
Well, this, if people's only complaint is that it's silly, I don't really care. Oh, whoops. Next, next we have The Haunting of Hill House. Now, what do I know about this book? I don't know. It's a haunted house. This could actually possibly go in my haunted house selection. However, I don't know. Even though this is not certain Halloween, I just feel like the color scheme of the house is giving Halloween. And I'm covering the hideous Netflix sticker. Why do they do that? Why do they do that? Why do they put stickers on the book that you can't take it off? Why do they do that? But yeah, apparently this house also has powers. So that's exciting. I also want to watch the show, I believe it is. Oh, well, yeah, it's a show. As you can see by this heinous sticker. Next, we have Autumn of the Grimoire. Is it a dark romance? It's got to be a dark romance. Oh, there's also witches in this book. And I think there is a book for like each season. And I just, I love this cover, by the way. So I'm just talking about automata books. And I just, I don't really know much about like what this is about. Except that it's, you know, I think it's, is it a little bit of fantasy? Like witches. Oh, there's a character in this book called Agatha. Like Agatha Christie. This book just sounds interesting. It sounds good. And I don't remember exactly what it was about this book that drew me in. But I have it nonetheless. Next, we have You Again, which is a romance. And it's giving very autumnal vibes with all the leaves around it apparently this is a harry met sally retelling um i've never seen harry met sally so i don't really know what that is i don't know i really i mean <laughs> romance movies uh they're honestly not gonna lie i don't really like watching romance movies just because they make me really sad <laughs> they make me sad so there's a few select ones that i love and watch and adore but i you know i'm just the rom-coms they just they make me sad because it's like you wish that was you <laughs> Yes, this is one of the books. And then this one, I don't know. I just wanted to read it. I read one other book by this author and I really, really liked it. Well, there's like this one line that I still think about and I still like, it makes me a little bit teary-eyed. It does. It makes me a little bit... Okay. It's The Dead Romantics. The book I was talking about before was The Seven Year Slip. But this book is basically about like two ghosts. I guess this could have also gone in the paranormal pile as well. There's a lot of crossover here, so I apologize for that. But yeah, this, yeah, I think it's just two ghosts falling in love. Is it? Oh, wait, no, she's a ghost writer. Well, I think it's a ghost writer falls in love with a ghost. Is it? I don't know. That's just crows in the background. Don't even worry about it. I think I'm going to show you some of my vampire books next. I love vampires. I do. If vampires are real, if any vampires listening, you come my way immediately. Okay. So, I yeah, I do love vampires. Okay. I loved Edward Cullen. What can I say? Oh. What one do I even want to start with? So we have Dracula. Do I like this book cover? No, I don't. And when I ordered this book many, many years ago, I was not expecting this book to arrive. So Dimmix, you like. You need to start updating your covers. There are so many books from Dimmix that I ordered, and I'm like, oh, I really like this cover. And then the cover comes, and it's completely different to what was advertised. And it's like, okay, well, I care, but not enough to do anything about it. So yeah, Dracula is basically like this man. <laughs> And, you know, I remember I started reading this and actually I was listening to it and then I fell asleep and then I was just like, I don't, I cannot be bothered going through trying to figure out what part I got up to before I fell asleep. But, yeah, it's about this guy and then he gets, like, invited into, like, Dracula's house, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, then we have Camilla. Oh, she's so skinny. This is a skinny queen right here. Okay, so we have Camilla. This is a really cute... This is giving Cinderella, honestly, that little thing. This book actually inspired Dracula. I think you're like, I believe she's one of the three brides of Dracula. I totally could just be lying here. So again, whatever I say, if I'm wrong, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what this is. Um, and there's nothing on the back. It just says King Solomon. Okay. Then we have this, which is Fangs. And I was so confused because it was like from the author of Sarah Scribbles. And I was like... The kids book but this it's very cute right got black sprayed edges it's like it's a comic a comic book it's, it's like it's a graphic novel see and i think this is again like something to do with dracula the three brides of dracula so yeah author of sarah scribbles but i don't know it's a really cute cover and like i don't know it's short and easy and i feel like that could be good oh never mind no it's not i'm lying a love story between a vampire and a werewolf See guys, I'm just always a blurring into one. So if I'm saying the complete wrong thing, I apologize immensely. Next going with that theme, we have Bride. See, this book came out at the very start of the year and I had a lot of mixed reviews about it. I have read Checkmate by Ali ha I have read Checkmate by Ali Hazelwood. That's the only one I've read. 
but I'm gonna be reading this and then at some stage I want to read one of her Steminist novels you know where the main character is like a scientist I don't want to read that because I feel like that's what she's known for and I just haven't but you know what people were like who oh. like oh I was reading a book once and it turned into like an Amiga fan fiction and I was like huh so like I kind of know a bit about werewolves yeah um anyways I'm not gonna be alarmed why do I feel like there's gonna be a missing page in this book or oh, wrong page numbers I don't know I'm getting that vibe it's happened before I'm looking at you one dark window I'll never forget that it like haunts me a little bit next we have my romance of vampire now this book is like very campy I think I really wanted to read this last year but then I didn't because it was too expensive but then this year I was like eh, whatever I was very stingy last year with my money and as you can see mm, that's gone away now but it's basically about this dude he's very old I remember is he old? No, he's not normal. He's not old. He's from the past. Yeah, he's from the past. And then he is very confused by the modern day and I think she helps him. And then all I know is that he likes Taylor Swift or he ends up liking Taylor Swift. So it's like, yeah. And I absolutely love this cover. There were these books that I read when I was younger. It was like My Sister the Vampire or something like that. And it's kind of giving like that vibe with the cover. Okay, the next vampire book is Hunting Prince Dracula. There's so many books about Dracula. I read the first book in this series a while ago, and this is actually a continuation of that, which I didn't realize. I thought this was just gonna be all like interdicted standalones. This is kind of giving Halloween ish, and it's kind of a thick book though. Is this one where it has illustrations in it? There's a map. That's always a good sign. Let's put that there. I have a lot of witch books, so I think I'm gonna split the witch books. Okay, do you see what I'm saying? I've got a lot of witch books, so I think I'm gonna split it in half and then do some like haunted house books and then like come back. And then we can like go from there so next the first book we have is in the company of witches now this book is just like a cozy fantasy mystery book i just feel like i've heard so many people talking about this it's also really cute and really small and there's a cat on the front and i love cats next we have charmed this is another book that i bought used um i disinfected it quite a lot but the cover i don't know i i disinfected it but i got confused <laughs> Charmed is a TV show. I did watch a movie with Sydney Prescott in it, and this woman looks so much like, and it was a movie, and I watched it, and I was like, that's really good. I was like, it's not a book series. No, I got confused between the two. Sydney Prescott vamp vampire movie. See, my mind is all mixed up. <laughs> Which, guys, I fell in love. Okay, never mind. I'm not talking about that. I fall in love with people who don't like me. See, where is it? Why is it not coming up? It was not Charmed. What was it? Bewitched. Was it Bewitched? I'm trying to find it so that you can know. No, not her in Scream. Give me a second. Every single time I look it up, it's just not coming up. Oh, is it one of those things where like the actors like wipe it because they don't want to be associated with in the new Pet Cemetery, the guy that plays the dad in that movie, he's wiped it. Like if you look up his name, that movie will not come up. But I know he's in it because he always plays like the like odd characters in movies there was this other movie that I watched it was like the devil all the time there's so many famous people in that movie like every single famous person you can think of is in that movie no what is this movie why is it not coming up I know she was in something because I watched it I'm an idiot <laughs> I'm an idiot I just figured out why I couldn't find it. It's because I was looking up Sydney Prescott. That is the script. That's a character in Scream. I'm, I'm furious actually. I'm like, why is Sydney Prescott? Why is it only show up with Scream? Because that is what it is. The craft. The craft. Yeah, I was close. Okay. No, I actually wasn't. Was it? Was it the craft? The craft. We got there in the end. But Sydney Prescott. But Neve Campbell was in it. And Neve Campbell, she plays Sydney Prescott in Scream. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, anyways, but I really thought, I just thought it was, there's no correlation. I mean, the cra charmed, the craft, whatever, it doesn't matter. But I want to read this, just because I just feel like, I don't know, like, but I don't know what that is on the spine. But it's got that bold font. I love these old books, they look like that. Don't like that, whatever that is. Um... Okay, next we have the Penguin Book of Witches, which is basically just like a selection of witch stories. Okay, next we have the X-Hex, and I'm pretty sure this book, this is another one of those books that I wanted to get last year, 
and I didn't get it. But I got this book used, so it ended up being like 10 bucks. So I was like, saving money. Anyways, yeah, I'm pretty sure like this girl and her friend, they're just like messing around and they put a curse on her ex. And then he comes back and he's like, did you put a curse on me? Is that right? And it's like past and present. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I, I, I literally don't know. These are just books that I'm like, these are books I could read. And then we have the very secret society, the very secret society of regular, the very secret society of irregular witches. This cover is really cute, and so is the other one. But I ended up getting this one. But I don't know. I really like the new one with well, like the UK Australia one. I really like that one. I can find it used. I'll get it. Okay. But this book is just a cozy book, a warm and uplifting novel about an isolated witch whose opportunity to embrace a quirky new family. And a new love changes the course of her life. Look at how much is on the back. Okay, I'm not reading all that. We have a few more witch books. I'm gonna pause that though. I'm gonna swap over to haunted house books. We have The Haunting of Blackwood House and The Falkoff Ghost. Now Darcy Coates is an author that I discovered last year, like kind of early on in the year. And I've read like a considerable amount of books by her. And like what I do is like, I read them with my grandma. So my grandma has read this one. And I think my grandma has read this one as well. So I think I need to catch up because then my grandma reads them or like I read them and then my grandma reads them and we talk about it. It's like a little book club. These books, I'm assuming they're haunted houses because they're literally got a house on the front. Have I read this? No, I, I don't. I just think some of her books, I like there's, oh, I read a book by her. It's like the house next door. I feel like it's kind of giving similar vibes to this. Is this a, the caretaker one? I'm so convinced I've actually read this. Have I read this book? Mm, okay, I haven't. I just checked my Goodreads and I logged the books I read in Goodreads and it wasn't there, so I haven't read it. Why do I feel like I've read this? Or maybe it's because I did a book haul and this one of the books in it and I am pretty sure I, I maybe read the back kit, so I'm getting a weird sense of deja vu. Okay, let's just put that in here. Next, we have White Smoke and this book... <laughs> this book is pitched as it's what did they say it was it was like a mix between the haunting of hill house and something else and i was like i want to read it then the haunting of hill house meets get out so i was like well i want to read it and you can see the little house there next up mexican gothic now i at first didn't know this was like a haunted house but then i saw someone say it was haunted house so i was like is it um okay so in the state there are secrets behind the walls. Soon find it impossible to leave this enigmatic house behind. So I guess it is a haunted house. Next we have like two like campy books. We've got Butcher and Blackbird, two serial killers falling in love. I don't know. I heard they're apparently making a TV show or a movie. I heard they're making an adaptation of this. It makes me nervous when books get like adapted into movies and TV shows for a lot of reasons. A lot of times it's because it's just, it's not as good as the original. So it's just like, why? You didn't have to do it. Like there's no need to. And everyone's freaking out about accidental cannibalism have you not seen silence of the lambs why do i feel like i've actually watched so many cannibalism things next we have love in the time of serial killers again another book where i was basically just like i didn't want to get it last year because it was 17 dollars, and i was mad because i put it in my shopping cart when it was only 12 dollars, and then there was a price increase and i just keep waiting for it to go back down to dollars, and it just never will so I've just got to just suck it up. But basically this book is about this girl and she thinks her neighbor next door is a serial killer. The true crime is not written in this novel. Oh, I get that. Okay, and that's a little blurb by Ali Hazelwood. Message to opening your heart to love. My heart is open to love. This love keeps passing me by. Never mind, I know, I know. Whatever's meant for you won't pass you, blah, 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 blah. You'll, you'll find them when the time is right. Oh, you're, you're so young still. Stop worrying about being alone forever. <laughs> If I hear those phrases anymore, do you know what are the big three for me? If I ever complain about being single, I always get told, oh, you're so young, there's still time. Your soulmate will come when you least expect it. <laughs> Just keep working on yourself. <sighs> I am. Okay, I am. So stop telling me that. But I think I did fall in love. Did I fall in love? Should I tell you guys who it is? Well, I don't even know his name. <laughs> this is my problem. He's a security guard. <gasps> I read a book about a security What did I say? No, no. What did I say? I, what did I say? I said, when was it? When I read 
Trista James. I said, I said, I have a thing for bodyguards and a thing for security guards. I have a thing for people who can protect me. <laughs> I am in love. I really am. Am I in love or was he just nice to me? <laughs> Do you know what I was told the other day? Do you know what someone said to me the other day? They're like, you can't just fall in love with people if they're nice to you. <laughs> Watch me. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. So then I don't actually do anything about it. So it's like, well, am I really in love? Do you know what I'm saying? This is my dilemma. Why am I talking about this? This is me oversharing again. I always overshare. And I feel like I, I should just stop. But I just can't stop. Okay, let's talk about some paranormal stuff. We have my darling dreadful thing. This cover is like creepy. And I've heard a lot of bad reviews actually about this book. A lot of people said it was underwhelming. Rue... Ruse Beckman, it's named Ruse, okay, has a spirit companion only she can see. Ruth, strange, corpse-like, and dead for centuries. Oh, nice. Someone is murdered. And then everyone thinks Ruse does it, and she's like, I'm pretty sure she's going to be like, it was the random spirit, and they're going to be like, okay. Next up, why the switching? Fun fact, I was going to buy this book used, so I was on eBay scaring for it. Someone had... I'm pretty sure they had stolen a library copy and were trying to sell it because or actually you know what that might not be the case though because I actually what my what I've seen libraries do like because I have library books well I, I'm pretty sure like, it was just my school library that this thing where they would like sell books for like 50 cents um and so I did that when there were those like little book sales on house on the cliffs near Dover is there a song with the word Dover in it the one that's like the rover <laughs> the rover song <laughs> okay in this place where apples grow why do i feel like apples have been mentioned so many times today i've said the word apples so much next we have the girl from the well now i heard a lot of people say that this book is basically like the ring so this again cover is slaying she does look like samara she really does <gasps> part the ring part the grudge part the exorcist Mm hmm A restless spirit. She wanders viciously taking lives of children. I want to read that really badly. Next, we have the Penguin Book of Ghost Stories, which is just, again, like a little collection, much like the Witches one about the ghost stories. And are they real? There's, like, a lot of references. You'll notice, like, with these books, like, most of it... Okay, I'm being dramatic, but that'll be, like, that much introduction, this much referencing, and <laughs> this much of the actual book. I'm kidding! I'm kidding! See, yeah, it's only, it's only that much introduction and how much referencing is there. That's okay. And then, then the last book for the paranormal thing, we have the perfectly proper paranormal museum. There's a cat on the front. It's a cute cover. And I think this lady, she goes back to her hometown and then someone dies. When I sit like this, it looks like I'm naked. Okay, I got to stop doing that. This girl, she, yeah, someone dies in the museum and it's like, who did it? So there's that. Okay, now let's go back to like the witch books. Now this book, I don't know if it's like a witch book. It's called The Spell Shop. Basically, like this girl, she opens this illegal spell shop. Yeah, because like a library burns down, I think. And this jam, like strawberry jam. She makes like this magical jam. The House Witch and the Enchanting of the House. I have never heard anyone talk about this. I've never seen this. I literally don't even know why I bought this. I think I may have, like, accidentally bought this. Like, this is the font size, if anyone's curious. Being a real cook, something in the kitchen. <laughs> I don't know. I just got it. This is what happened. Like, at first, I was being very selective with the books I was getting. And then I was just like, may as well get this one and this one. Next, we have uh, The Witch of Willow Hall. Actually, again, I got it used. Now, you probably wondering, okay, why are you telling... Why am I telling you that I got books used? Because I think getting books used is a good thing, okay? And you just gotta make sure you disinfect them and give them time to like just kind of stay away from other books for a bit. So in case there's like any, anything in the pages. Um, I'm very confused though because the like eBay seller who I got this from, like I got this book like pretty fast, honestly. Like it just was like, I just cashed it. Was it this book or something else? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was this one and I was really confused, whatever. But... I, I bought it and then they were like, hi, just like wanting to know what happened with shipping. And I was like, I was like, um, hi, the postman just like put it at my front door and then I got it. So I don't know if there was like any problem on like their end. I don't know. But I was like, well, I got it. So there's just like no problem with shipping. And I rated them. So I'm like, I literally rated them. Already, so I already got the book. And then she's like, so next time, what happened with the shipping? So the next time things go more smoothly. I'm like, 
what happened with the shipping? And then I was like, if I didn't answer the question, you can just let me know and I can like answer properly and then she never got back to me. So I guess I answered the question, right? Um, anyways, then we have the Honey Witch. Marigold has always preferred the company of the Meadow Spirits. Oh, did she fall in love? Did she fall in love with Lottie Burke? The skeptic who doesn't believe in magic. And she's got, Marigold has to prove to her that the magic is real, even at the risk of losing her home and her heart. Okay, beautiful prose. Slay, I would love to read this. Okay, so that's everything. Um, that's all the books I have. Let me know if you've read any of these books. Let me know what books are in your Halloween TBR. And yeah, I guess I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye.